what we're going to talk about today is the Nintendo way and why this gamer likes it better than any other platform that's currently out there right now. You see, the Wii is $129.99. That's how much it's going to be for the holidays. Do you know what that means? I'll explain what that means. To anyone out there that has been living in a difficult situation since we are, most Americans are living in a recession, this is an opportunity for them to purchase a home console at a very affordable price with a huge library of games that are virtually well priced at this point in time. It's a perfect opportunity for them to get into gaming. And you want to know what's even better about that? That all of the games that they buy, all the extra devices that they use on their Wii, when the right opportunity comes, they will be able to use all of those extra accessories and games and continue the experience on the Wii U. That's the Nintendo way. The Nintendo way. Let's talk about what's going on with Microsoft and Sony. Let's talk about the competition's way. Why do I have the right to criticize, you may wonder? You may call me a Nintendo fanboy, but I own all three consoles. So I'll just say what I want to say. I paid the cost to be the boss. I own all three, so I can say what I want. Now, it's totally different to say something about something you don't own, but I own them. So deal with it. Now, getting back on topic, the Nintendo way. If you are on a budget, this is going to be an excellent time to purchase a Wii, like we discussed. But what's going on with Microsoft and Sony? Well, what do we know for sure? It's nearly the same price it was at... No, wait, 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 wait. It's, let me correct myself. It's nowhere near the price it was originally, right? $5.99, $4.99, those ridiculously super ridiculous prices we saw initially when these two consoles launched and now we're looking at prices this many years down the line that are still above 250 does anyone else have a problem with this you know what this is this is a prime example of what happens when you try to get too aggressive pushing technology and graphics in a home console when price versus cost doesn't balance out you have to recoup you have to recoup and so you know what that means longer cycle yes number one and number two you don't get the price breaks will you ever see an xbox 360 or a ps3 at 130 dollars i don't think so you want to know why price Performance, benefit versus cost. Simple concept. Sony nor Microsoft figured that out this console cycle, which is why the Wii won. And to add insult to injury, the Nintendo way, and that's what we're talking about, there is no guarantee that any of the extra accessories or peripherals that you'll be able to use on a current 360 or PS3 will even be compatible with their next console there's no guarantee if anything history has shown that more than likely you're just gonna have to buy brand new ones the Nintendo way everything that I bought for my Wii is gonna work on my Wii U that's why Nintendo for me is my first choice cost versus benefit I did a bit I did a excuse me a video on this not too long ago and I'm sure you guys remember the Nintendo way the secret of the Wii and you know I addressed a lot of these issues but it seems some people still don't understand that simple concept You see you can always make a console really really powerful but you're going to have to make some sacrifices to make it affordable and coolant and to reduce the failure rate when you try to enclose it in something so small. Nintendo's Wii U essentially is an APU. Very smart move on Nintendo's part. Cost versus benefit. 
It's just common, simple business practices. But for some reason, Nintendo seems to be the only one who tries to implement these type of strategies. So, short, sweet, five minute video. The Nintendo way by far is the better way for the consumer. And don't misunderstand me. I like all three consoles. All three consoles represent a part of my team. And I'll break it down to you guys simple like this. I'm a big Chicago Bulls fan. Back in the old days, the MJ Dynasty era. And I'm going to put it to you like this. Nintendo is Michael Jordan for me. The leader of innovation. The leader in all categories. Always knows how to get the job done. Microsoft for me is Scottie Pippen. Started off his career slow, but turned into an all-star player that eventually, even towards the end, could hold his own even against MJ himself. Last but not least, you have Sony. And for me, Sony represents <laughs> the Ron Hopper on the Chicago Bulls. Once an all-star player on his own team, now delegated to nothing more than a role player. More videos to come.